Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video we're going to have a look at this uh, Samsung Portable SSD. Uh, this is the T5 uh, model and uh, this is a review unit that was sent to me by Samsung and personally actually uh, for about more than a year or so I was personally actually using the T3 uh, SSD uh, to store all my video work and stuff or do editing on the go. So I have a lot of experience with this and uh, Let's see what this new model that is the T5 brings to the table. I'm actually pretty satisfied with this SSD. This is the box. Let me actually show you the SSD. Probably a bad idea because it's being recording right now on this SSD itself. Uh, so let's quickly have a look at this and let me share the experience that I had with this portable uh, SSDs and why I personally actually use them. So let's uh, open this up and see what's the difference. So as you can see here, we have the T5 and this is my old T3. Uh, this is the T3 that I had. And as you can see, this is the 500 GB variant that I have. It says T3 and it came with this uh, cable, uh, a USB uh, type A to USB type C in the box. Let's see what else do we, what do we get in this one? As you can see, this is a one terabyte model. And as it's a review unit, it's pre-opened. It says made in Korea. Let's just quickly open this up and it says portable SSD T5. So in terms of size, it's almost the same as this one. Back it says T5. Interestingly, yeah, it says one terabyte over here. So apart from that, we get a booklet, various languages. And I'm glad to see that they are bundling two cables now. Uh, this is uh, type C to type C and we are also getting the old one that is type c to type a so that's a nice thing so if you have a new laptop uh, that that might be having a type c cable you can directly just connect it to this one and in case if you have an old one you with usb uh, type a uh, you can connect using this one in terms of size comparison as you can see both of them are almost the same so they didn't make it uh, smaller but again, as you can see, this is pretty small. And in terms of weight also, it's almost the same. So no big difference. Color difference is there. The older T3 was in this multicolor. I like this personally, but this one is in completely in black color. Good to see that even this new one has three year limited warranty. And uh, this is the new one, uh, T5. It comes with USB 3.1 generation two. That means it has support up to 10 gigabit. Uh, whereas this older one, was uh, USB 3.1 generation one. So it has, uh, uh, what is it, speeds up to only five gigabits. So theoretical speeds have uh, doubled with this one as it's supporting generation two. So I have connected it to my computer and uh, you can install this optional software and you can encrypt your drive if you want, uh, uh, but I didn't do that. Uh, you can just cancel this. So it shows the capacity as of now, it's one terabyte. Let's just get out of this. And uh, let's open up a speed test. Uh, this is by Blackmagic. And just let's run it. I'll just select uh, for 5 GB of transfer the target. And the target is this Samsung T5 drive. So I'm just going to select that. And let's see the speeds. In terms of speeds, I did not see a huge difference compared to the T3. With that also, I was getting around the speeds. And the reach should be about 500 megabytes. Uh, so at, actually, this is really fast. For example, if there is a four gigabyte file, uh, it will transfer in about eight seconds, eight odd seconds. So yeah, even for 4K video, uh, it's uh, good enough. So these are the speeds that uh, you can expect with this one. So why do I personally use these uh, portable SSDs? For example, you know, I work with video, for example, right now I'm recording this video and video footage is big and lately I have started using multiple camera setup. So I actually use two different cameras for shooting. And I was earlier using a normal hard drive to store this uh, video. I actually use uh, a laptop that has a 256 gigabyte SSD. And after the, what do you say, operating system and other files, I just have about 150 gigs left. And that's not, uh, what do you say, uh, a lot of space for video because I produce a lot of videos. So I was using a portable, uh, what do you say, uh, hard drive that you get, you connect it to your USB drive. And I was using that earlier. But again, um, this is about one and a half years ago, I lost some footage because I was using 
that uh, because these portable hard drives normal hard drives are mechanical in nature and uh, I, I was traveling and the head got damaged so i lost a lot of data so i migrated to a ssd because with the ssd we don't have any moving parts it's tiny as you saw it's very small so portable you can carry it and the biggest thing is that it is really really fast as you saw with the benchmarks and stuff it's really fast so even if you have to 4k video footage it can easily work you can work with that and it doesn't slow down your process so i liked it for the speed again durability is also an important factor uh it you can just put it in your bag and stuff as there are no moving parts there is very less chance of it getting damaged and you losing your important data and uh, i can also actually i have all my footage in these uh, this portable ssd this is the older one this is the t3 that i've been using personally and all my video footage is there in this so i can just carry this and if anybody has final cut pro i use final cut pro for video editing i can just plug in this ssd and start my work and that's how i do for example uh, currently this ssd is connected to my main computer but when i'm traveling i just use this computer and i just connect that portable ssd and i have all my work and i can do my video editing on the go and because it's very fast even if i have two 4k video footage i can easily do the editing so it's a great thing i would say for media professionals and if you want to access the data very fast and again if you want reliability that's the reason i go with the ssd and uh, uh, the t3 has uh, been working fine for me for more than one and a half years and I also now like this uh, T5. Uh, so I will upgrade to this one, the T5. So again, uh, this is the Samsung uh, portable T5 SSD. Do let me know uh, your thoughts about the same and do share your opinion in the YouTube comment section below. Again, guys, thanks for watching this video. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.